Hi, my name is Michael Anderson. Welcome back to Blue Pit Customs Street Kills Chronicle LS Cylinder Head Identification. All right, where we left off from the last video, we're going to talk about the valves, but I kind of jumped over myself. Let's let's check out uh, so people don't get confused. The LS three cylinder head has a rectangle port intake port. Okay, it will only work with an LS three intake or aftermarket LS three intake. The LS1, we'll use the AFR for instance, has cathedral ports. Okay, looks like the window in a cathedral. All right, those will only work with cathedral port intakes or aftermarket cathedral port intakes. You know, I shouldn't have to go over that. If I have to go over that with you guys, then you know, uh, you need to do a little bit more research before you even touch a cylinder head or anything like that. Cathedral port, cathedral port, rectangle port, all the rest of the LS heads truck, all of them are cathedral port, except for the LS7, okay? The LS7 actually has a peanut port, it's not even really rectangle, okay? Peanut port is kind of, kind of like that, a little bit rounder though, it has more of a peanut port. They call it a rectangle port, but it's not, okay? Now that we got that out of the way, I want to I wanna show you guys a little something that is really important to cylinder head porting, okay? This this right here, like I said, I hear a lot of people talk about taking the swirl ramp off. The reason they talk about taking taking the uh, the ramp off is because they have happened to notice that all the top name cylinder head manufacturers take the ramp out, okay? This is an aftermarket cast head, guys. But if you notice, one still is higher than the other, okay? And there's also, around the bows there's a guide to stop the air from hitting each other okay that's really important let me see if I can get you there there you go is it a little better Alex mm -hmm. that's really important to stop the air from hitting each other if you notice the LS3 cylinder head still around the bows this is obviously taken down quite a bit but it still has the little fin to stop the air from hitting itself okay all those cylinder head uh, flow numbers that, that these guys that are hand pointing their heads are showing you with the, with the ramp taken off, they could have been much better, okay? The reason they get better flow is because they hogged a hole out. But I want you to ask them. Send them an email, okay? Ask them what the coefficient drag rating on their cylinder head is. They'll probably email you back with what is that or uh, don't know, okay? Ask them where their cylinder head stalls at, where the flow of air stalls in their cylinder head, okay? A lot of more factors going to porting cylinder heads than just hogging a hole out. You hog a hole out, you'll get better flow numbers. Flow numbers are not everything, guys. They're not. Velocity, coefficient drag, where does it stall out at? I mean, those are very important numbers. Let's jump over to, a, to, the, to the 317 head that we just roughed in, okay, guys? This is not a finished port, but it's roughed in. If you notice, okay, here, we'll jump to this one up here. If you notice, my ramp is still there. I brought it down a little bit, but my ramp is there and it's high, okay? Taking a lot of the bows off, and we'll, we, that won't be a point, but it'll, it'll come to a round, uh, not, not a bullet style, but a little bit more rounded right here, a little bit more flat so the air doesn't knife edge in, okay? Now, we're going to go over to the one that I was showing you that we poured it through. We did that to show you guys something, okay? If you look at this port right here, both of these on, the, on, the, on the, the swirl ramp, both of those are almost equal. And there is no fin to divide the air. The air is going to wind up hitting itself on the back side, okay? No matter what, it's going to hit itself and it's going to cause flow issues. Not, well, not necessarily flow issues, but drag issues. And right here on the back side, the air is going to start, it's just going to hit each other. And, you know, you're not going to get the results that you should have gotten with your cylinder head port. Okay, guys, so just be real, real careful when you do that. Here's a stock one, stock swirl ramp. They do this to add torque and velocity in the air. This works as a slipstream, then this jumps the air and it kind of pulls itself in there, okay? There's a reason that's there. The factory's not stupid, all right? So take that down a touch, but don't mess with it too much, guys, okay? If you mess with it too much, stuff like that happens. Okay, 
You don't want stuff like that to happen. And also you start screwing, the air gets really turbulent back here, okay? Real quick, what are we at minute wise, Alex? Five minutes. Five minutes, okay. We're gonna go over the valves real quick, the LS3 valves versus the regular valves. So, uh, let me pick that up there. We're gonna cut back to you. Let's get our scale evened out and get everything evened out. We'll cut back to you guys in just a second.